So you can see here we need have a place we can add a calculated field and I'm going to add monthly pay and it's going to be based on number of hours worked plus base times base pay times four, assuming four weeks in a month. So we need to go over to design view and first we need to make a place for it. So we drag down a space. Notice I'm grabbing right here, not here, or that just expands the footer area. I want it within the main form area. And I've got the design tab open. I'm going to add a text box. So I draw it once I've selected it where I want it to sit in the form. And you could budget up a little bit so the spacing using the arrow keys is similar to the other fields. Now it automatically added a label. Labels are necessary because that gives the information in terms of what should be entered. Takes a little practice moving these things around. The lines help, but it doesn't have to be perfect for our intents and purposes, but I'll get it as cl close as I can. So that's the area that the label will reside in. Now I click inside and I'm going to add base monthly pay. Now I need to set up the actual calculation. So I'm back here in the text box. You'll see I have the property panel open and this is a data event so I click the data tab. The control source is where you do the calculation what's controlling the output. So I'm going to click on these three dots that brings up the expression builder dialog box. So I'm going to start by equal sign because I want to do a calculation and you need to choose the object first so I'm going to get the values from the table. The, the form is based on teacher 2 table and so I'm going to get base weekly hours and then I'm going to type in the multiply times base hourly pay I'm putting a space in times space 4 I might have ended up with two spaces there it looks like now I say OK now I'm going to just double check to see if this is working but well I'll go ahead and add the currency the one thing, this is money, so we want to come back to the format and designate we, that we want a format of currency. Now let's see what it looks like. So going back to layout view, if you get this error, which sometimes I get in access, so I'm kind of glad I got it so I could talk about it. Let me show you how you can correct that. Let's go back to uh, view design and again I like to go ahead and use this expression builder dialog because I got a little more room. The, the basis for this error has to do with a name not being valid and I've had this happen sometimes. What I do is I just get rid of the table name because it's going to default to the fields in that object. So I'm removing where it talks references table 2 and it might have been the spaces that it didn't like because I see it collapsed my spaces. But if you just name the field names like this and you're doing a calculation within the same table or form using data from the same table, it should be fine. So let's check it now. Say OK. Now I come back to View and I want to go to Form View. And you can see that did correct the problem. So that's just a little heads up if you get that error. Okay, now the other thing is I want to show you about adding buttons. The buttons are a convenient way for your users to navigate through the form. Remember the forms are the main user interface for either viewing or inputting data. So um, the forms or buttons that we want to add, we're still on the design tab here, and I'm selecting the button object, and the form we want, or excuse me, the button we want first is to add a record. So just by adding the button, this command button wizard dialog box came up. And this, you have to kind of know what kind of control you want to be associated, what kind of action. So in this case, it's going to be a record operation because we're literally adding a new record. So we say add new record, next. And I don't need a picture, the words are fine. So select that, next. 
and the the button is something for you to reference the object itself. So you want to say something like um, add record button finish. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other button while I'm at it. Um, I don't I don't if you, you could do a delete record, but I want to add a different kind which is a close. I think your case asks for three buttons, but you get the idea how to do a delete. It's just like the add. But I'll show you the slight difference when we do a form control button. You start out the same way, drawing the button, except now this is a form operation, and what we want to happen is closing the form. So we say next. Again, text is fine for the label. Next. And then the meaningful name would be like... Um, can't spell, close, form, button, finish. And now if we go back to form view, you can see we have this. If I click add record, it empties everything out in preparation for you to enter the information for a new record. Or if I click close form, it's asking me, do you want to leave? I'm going to say yes, save. Notice that this is not asking about this data. It's asking about do you want to save the changes that you made in design view. If you haven't figured that out yet with access, entering data, the minute you leave one record, it automatically saves it. But it's the changes you make in the design views that it's going to ask you do you want to save or not. So I'll say yes. So that's the end of this little video. I hope that helps you with your case one for access. Thank you.